Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Angela. If you wanna see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. <laughs> so first things first, we're gonna be prepping our eyes with this Maybelline Adrian Wine Concealer. This is in shade light. I'm not particularly bothered if I get it in my eyebrows because I don't do my eyebrows first. So it's not really an issue for me, but if you do your eyebrows first, then obviously carve them out a bit better and <laughs> don't put it in your eyebrow. And I'm just patting it outside onto my temples. I usually start my eye makeup first before the base. So what we're going to be doing is moisturising. I'm going to be using this Nivea Men Pro Shave Balm. I haven't used this in a long time, but I thought I'd kind of mix it up and see how we get along with it. I'm applying a generous amount as a first layer. I've got really dry skin for reference, and I find that it really helps your foundation not go horrible and cakey. Normally I apply probably like at least two products quite generously, especially around my dry bits, which are my nose, eyes and forehead. Now I know I did a poll on my Instagram bloody ages ago now, asking my followers what they wanted me to create as my first YouTube video. And it was obviously gonna be a simple neutral eye look, but maybe in me, I'm definitely not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't feel like it today, so instead, bleh. So instead, I think I'm gonna be creating a sunset kind of vibey look because I don't think I've done one of them on my Instagram. So that's what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> the palette I'll be using today is this one, Be Perfect Carnival palette in collaboration with Stacey Marie, who I absolutely adore and love. The first color I'm gonna be taking is Wasted, which is just a nice purple. And I'm just gonna be stamping this in my crease. So you want to stamp out any crease and before you start and I don't set my base either. Now I've got hooded eyes so I'm wanting to place the colour in the socket and I'm using a pencil brush to do this. And I'm really packing the colour on. So the second colour I'm going to be taking is this bright pink called Funky. I'm going to semi blend this on top of the purple. So half on the purple, half off it. Once I've stamped on the colour where I want it, I'm going to start blending it in circular motions like this. And what I do is I kind of tuck my brush into my socket and doing it like that just does the work for you. The next colour I'm going to be taking is Lit, which is a, a bright orange. I'm just going to be taking my colour switch and I'm going to be swirling my brush into that so I can change the colour quite easily without colour transferring. Also, this is the Sigma E25 brush. And what I'm doing is basically the same again, half on the pink, half off it. And as you can see, we're getting a tropical vibe, which I am absolutely loving. And then the next colour we're going to be going into is this bright yellow shade called Keen. And again, half on, half off. And I do take my eyeshadow quite high up. And then fanning it out. Now most of the time I find that once I've done all my colours and laid them down that I don't feel like I've put them quite in the right place. So what I'm going to do is just go over again every single colour and I'm going to raise them up. As I've said I've got hooded eyes so I need the colours to be off my eyelid and more in my upper section of my eyelid space. So that's what I'm going to do. Especially on the outer corners, my lids are quite sunken, so I'm going to try and cat eye it a little bit. So I'm just going to raise the colour on that. And what I find helps is if you look straight into the mirror. Don't do this and don't look too down either, otherwise you won't be able to see what you're doing. I prefer to do it this way rather than packing the colours on initially too high, otherwise you'll just run out of space and it can tend to look a bit shit.
With a cut crease, you've also got to bear in mind how high up you're going to cut your crease. So I tend to cut my crease quite high up over this little flap of skin I've got. I always bring my darkest colour really high up. So when I come to cut in the crease, there's a big contrast between like the white of the concealer and the darkness of the last eyeshadow that's touching it. I'm going to go in with the shade Liquor, which is a really dark purple. And I'm just going to place that also up into the bit where I'm going to be cutting the crease just to get a bit more contrast and then to finish off all the blending I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow in this inner corner to tie it all up I didn't even think to zoom you guys in so I'll just do that now so hopefully you'll get a oh, bollocks that's my focus I'll just try and focus you in now okay so that's as close as my lens goes so let's just deal with that okay so again, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline concealer and my Morphe M224 brush and I'm going to cut the crease. So I like to dub it on like that and then have a little look around. But honestly, that method doesn't really work out great for me because my eyelids are uneven and horrible. But it does give me a sort of idea. Like for instance, I don't go up this high because that just covers everything so I'm going to show you a way of how I fix that and what I do is dab I don't swipe because if you swipe that's when you get your most smudging of the colours and you don't really want that you want your concealer to stay as bright as possible without having to proper layer it on I've roughly done both of my eyes now to fix this little problem I've got going on I'm going to be taking my Zoeva 315 and I'm just going to dab back into the colours that I put there and layer it on and that should fix it. There you go and you'd never know that was even there but I'm just going to outline my cut with that dark purple colour, outline it a little bit more. Also this is a good tip if you've already cut your crease and you notice that like your cut doesn't look that vibrant, doesn't look that contrasty. Now for the lid colour, I think I might go into the Morphe 3502 palette. Oh, and oh shit. That's the first time I've ever done that and I'm really upset now. Good. I think I've decided on using this Nubia colour from the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. I'm just going to be using the Zoeva 237 detailed shader for this. Now I'm going to go back into the Carnival Palette and I'm going to put a pink in between the yellow gold and the purple i'm going to use the shade wifey which is a darker pink and i'm just going to stamp that in there first shit that's a little bit too far i just have to go over that and then i'm going to go into wasted which is the lighter purple shade and just stamp that in there and then i'm going to go into liquor which is the dark purple and just stamp that in that little corner I think that looks really good for me. Now I'm gonna go in with a liner, but I don't fancy black. But Nick sent me this one the other week. It's the Vivid Brights Coloured Liquid Liner in the shade Vivid Violet, and that will match in nicely. It's gonna use a handheld mirror for this because I really need to see up close. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Iconic Boom Lash. It's a tiny little wand. I find it's really good, actually. The lashes I'll be using are the Nubian lashes. I've only got one style as far as I'm aware, and they're just really nice and wispy. These are currently my favourites. They're just amazing and fluttery. And the eyelash glue I'll be using is the Duo Glue, the one with no latex. I wait about one to two minutes for my eyelashes to dry. I just find that the longer you wait, the better. Obviously, don't leave it till the glue's totally dry, otherwise that's just going to be a nightmare and a complete waste of your time. So what I do is I just put them in the middle and then grab the end and then secure that in place. And then same with the inner corner. And then I look up into the mirror and I just make sure that the actual corners are on my eyelid and not like just hanging off because that's just not a good look, is it? And 
and then I'm gonna squish them together with one of these. This one's from Bougie and Bad on Instagram. So I've got a little bit of fallout. I'm just gonna get a wipe and wipe that all off. And then on the corners, just tap and drag. Now that I've done that, I'm just gonna go back in and do my eyelashes and give them a little bit of a squish to properly cement them down into my natural lashes. Classic, my inner corner needs more bloody glue. Haha, <laughs> great. And then I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit and then I'll try and squish it back on. In the meantime, I'm gonna be doing my face and I'm gonna go back in with this. Like I said, I like to be really overly generous with the moisturising, but I really do like my skin to be properly lubricated. The oil I'm gonna be using is the Pixie Rose Oil Blend. I'm just gonna put about three drops on. Distribute that everywhere. Also, who's managed to get the Germs Trial Palette? The restock is in about 15 minutes now. Right, I'm just gonna go back into my inner corner and try and fix that situation. I think that's done. My favorite foundation as of late is the Born This Way one. This is in the shade Honey. I've like basically run out of this one, so I might have to go in and open my new one. Okay, I think that's about as much as I can get out of that bottle. I'm just gonna dab on my foundation and put it on to the main areas. And I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and I'm gonna dab that everywhere. I need me some coverage around my nose in particular and my forehead, my problem areas. I'm not too bothered about completely covering up my skin. I feel like it's good for skin to just look like skin. Oh, I mainly use foundation is to even out my skin a little bit and to match my neck and face together. That looks pretty all right to me. Concealer I think I might use today for my face is the Maybelline one, but I haven't used this in such a long time, like actually on my face, so this could go horrifically. I'm just going to take a little buffer brush and damp that under my eyes and a little bit on my nose because I feel like it could be a little bit troublesome, even though I've like scrubbed my face 20,000 times today. I just hope it doesn't look dry. and a little bit on the chin to highlight. Now, the areas that I want most coverage, I'm just gonna leave to set a little bit because the drier the concealer, the more coverage you're gonna get out of it. And then I'm just gonna lightly dab my forehead because of my skin condition. If I press on it really hard, then it just completely takes off any product that's on it. And the same with my nose, just dabbing lightly. See, it's done it there, fuck's sake. Ooh, the launch! Gonna take a little bit of shape tape in the shade medium and I'm just putting this on that part of my nose. The next thing we're gonna be doing is powdering the face with our CMA No Colour Powder. And also, this is not a wet sponge. I find that with a wet sponge, it can clump up sometimes, which is not great. <laughs> Just taking the wasted shade on my pencil brush, putting that as close to my lash line as I can. Also, I managed to get that James Charles palette, thank God. So I actually have it now. It might be my next tutorial if this even um, uploads. I'm just gonna sweep the powder away because I don't want it to be too matte, too drying. Just gonna spray my face a little bit. The brow pencil I'm gonna be using is the dark brown one and it's the Primark pencil. It's basically like every other little, oh, I've got something in my eye. Oh, bit of mascara, I think. It's just one of these. Every brand has it. I'm just gonna outline my brow and brush it out and extend the tail. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna do the other brow off camera. This might be weird what I'm about to do, but this is how I actually set my brows. I use pear soap and a little can of spray. All I do is give it a squirt and rub a spoolie brush in like this. Make sure it's got a good amount of soap. It's not too watery. I'm just gonna brush that through the brows. 
I don't have the time or money to be spending like 20 quid on a brow gel when this is like 30 pence or something. I've used this method for about two years now and I don't think I'll ever change. Before I bronze, I always highlight. I just find the blend is a lot better rather than having a huge stripe on your face. And my favorite one at the minute is this Pixie one in Soul Sunrise. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> the way I like to contour or bronze, I don't really contour, I do bronzer. I like to use a stipple brush for this. I just find it gives a really nice effect on the face and I feel like it's a lot less likely to go wrong. Because I find with other brushes, you apply too much it goes a bit splotchy or patchy. What I do with this is I just pat it on. I never really swirl because I feel like that just disturbs your foundation and everything else you've put on. For the cheeks, I like to go slightly above your contour. I don't know, above it and onto the actual cheek. I find that this is more lifting. Now I have an elastic band on this and what I do is I just slide it up when I want a bit more precision of where I'm putting the powder. And then I go underneath my chin. I feel like everything in this video has gone well, which is more than can be said for all my other attempts, which have just been fails. Now, for nose contouring, I like to use this Sigma medium angled shading. It's an E70. So like this, it's nice and angled and small. The way I like to contour my nose is I first off do the end of it and underneath it and what this will do is just raise your tip and I've got a really crooked nose so I've got a thick illusion of me having a straight nose <laughs> which isn't ideal. I basically do 11s on either side of my nose because I'm not even here. One side of my nose tends to go a bit more in and one of them goes a little bit more out but I don't really know what side that is. I can't tell unless I look back at footage or pictures this takes it up into my eyebrow and then I go slightly on top of my bridge and I pat. I need to go slightly more on this side because my nose is bending this way <laughs> unfortunately so I'm just gonna pat and pinch that in as well. It's really hard to tell for me because in a mirror I really just don't know what the hell is going on but on camera it's like clear as day what the hell I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I think the most important part is actually where you put your highlight because pff, you get that wrong, you fuck up your nose. And then I just like to pat on the edges. That looks pretty good to me. Now I feel like this is one of the most important parts of your makeup. I used to use quite a big brush to highlight my nose if I didn't use to care but now I do. I'm going to use a little pencil brush. This one is a Sigma E30. I'm going to do a horizontal line there. So I think that looks cute, especially in pictures. I really like to highlight this bit. If you have a bit of a conk in your nose, like I do a little bit, you want to highlight this bit and this will just raise up your bridge from where it's dipped. And I like to slightly V that to give my nose a little bit of a more cinched look. Oh shit, I haven't even tight lined my eyeballs and it was all going so well. So again, just using my Pixie and I'm using my little pencil brush to go ahead with the highlighting. I'm going to line my lips with MAC Spice and then I'm going to go in with the Soph X Revolution Collaboration Lipstick in Syrup. I think I've gone a little bit overboard there, but uh, whatever. <laughs> go big or go home. Probably should have exfoliated my lips as well, but oh well. <sighs> mm, dry and crusty, love that. To fix that, I'm just gonna go over it with a gloss and that should make that dryness disappear. Whoop. And then to finish, I'm gonna give it a spray with this water mist. Morphe who? <laughs> And there we go, that's the finished look. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate that. If you've got any constructive criticism, please let me know, I'm open to hear that. Fingers crossed this editing goes well and you will actually see this video. If not, then 
I'll see you in my next. Bye.